you turn over to uh, the next page, page two, um, these are projects that uh, are, are under development, e either being scoped uh, or under design development. Um, the State Route 90 uh, project from Central to Mosin will uh, widen that, that uh, segment of the State Route 90 corridor to five lanes. Uh, we have a draft uh, uh, project assessment. Uh, that project is uh, programmed for FY11 uh, as we've gone through uh, scoping and, and, um, and uh, cost estimates. We are underfunded somewhat uh, by that project. Uh, we've got uh, $8 million programmed and uh, we'll, we'll need $11 million in our, in our back pocket. So as uh, just keep your fingers crossed because it's out uh, a few years yet um, but uh, as we get closer uh, maybe we'll, we'll do a, a money dance instead of a rain dance and see see what we can do um, now the next one is uh, 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 the State Route 90 campus drive down to State Route 92 Glen Kachina Road as well as the uh, the leg uh, of State Route 90 uh, from the junction of 92 uh, out to Central. Uh, we are doing scoping on that project right now. And uh, that's to, um, uh, on the State Route 90 campus to now to 92 Glen Kachina is to widen that project, uh, that, that corridor to seven lanes with uh, uh, raised medians and, and intersection improvements. And if you look uh, towards the back of your packet, you'll see a uh, a bird's eye view of one of an intersection, just a, a typical generic picture that says a bird's eye view. It shows, um, you know, left and right turn lanes and three through lanes in each direction there. Um, and I'd like to note that uh, uh, aside from uh, pathway and sidewalk work um, that is being contemplated is uh, an extra wide outside shoulder as a uh, uh, an accommodation to uh, people on, who uh, use bicycles and prefer to be on the highway versus mingling with pedestrians on, on the pathways and sidewalks. So that, that's something that uh, um, we're working towards to, to uh, accommodate uh, the, the many bicyclists uh, here in Sierra Vista. Um, the next item in the State Route 92, Ramsey Canyon, signal is under design. Uh, it's uh, really under uh, uh, Cochise County jurisdiction just uh, for your awareness that uh, uh, hopefully uh, late this fall we'll, we'll start construction on that. Some of these other projects are uh, a little further out on I-10, uh, you know, the, the I-10 State Route 90 TI, uh, I-10 Mar Station uh, traffic interchange in, in, uh, uh, at, which is actually in Pima County uh, we're working on. Um, uh, we've got uh, funding programmed for, uh, for a lot of that work. Um, I do note that the, the I-10 State Route 90 traffic interchange, which uh, there in Benson, uh, I've got $26 million programmed. And the price tag right now is about $42 million. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> so um, I, that, is, that is another one that uh, we've been doing a lot of... Uh, uh, behind the scenes parling uh, to see what we can do to get that uh, funded. And then uh, just a little for uh, the uh, third page here, um, State Route 9, uh, uh, Fort Huachuca, you know, the East Gate uh, uh, there, we're, we're trying to line up some safety money there. We realize that kind of a, um, uh, some issues with that, that uh, if a truck gets going too fast trying to make a yellow light, uh, they find themselves uh, dealing with laws of physics and rolling over where they didn't mean to. Um, and so we're working on that. And then uh, this last uh, um, uh, item I will point out, State Route 90, the spot payment press job there in the 9092 uh, vicinity that we're going to try to uh, do this uh, coming year, uh, this fiscal year, which uh, very soon that uh, we'll, we'll be looking at uh, lining up money to, to do that work. Um, really that's, uh, I just want to highlight uh, some of these uh, projects uh, and, and let you know that uh, again how grateful we are to be able to work with your staff 
Uh, if you ever ha had questions, uh, please give us a call. Shoot me an email. Uh, 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 Mary and uh, uh, Mike and uh, Scott, uh, they've got my number, and uh, uh, which is fine. I'm uh, always uh, uh, glad to hear from them. But I want to see if there's any questions at this time. Okay, thanks, Bill. Uh, first, uh, Mr. Blanchard. I just have one question on your design projects. Uh, where it says projected completion, like on the Marsh Street uh, project, would be December of 2010. Is that the design, or is that the construction for the for the Marsh Station project? Um, we are anticipating to advertise that project uh, in November 2008. Uh, but it's a three-phase project, which will take actually uh, probably three to five years to complete. Thank you. Yes, sir. Mr. Miller. Thank you, Mr. Miller. I just, I just want to take a minute to uh, say thank you, Bill, uh, for what you've done for us, particularly on the State Route uh, 92 Buffalo Soldier Trail intersection. As you're aware, and, and I'm sure the rest of the public is probably not aware, there was a kind of a bureaucratic uh, hiccup in the system above you and, and below uh, the director of ADOT, uh, Victor Mendez, in getting this advertised and bid so that we could do that this year. And this is a critical intersection for us, obviously. And through your efforts and Mr. Mendez's efforts, uh, they got that hitch worked out, and we got this advertised bid so we can have it this year rather than waiting waiting to next year. So I want to say thanks for, for, for the help in doing that. You're certainly welcome, and, and uh, I, you know, I really need to acknowledge your staff for, for being there and helping with that. And, Bill, if you've got an extra copy of the uh, handout, this young lady over here on the far left is from the Sierra Vista Herald, and she could probably uh, I'll drop make, mine make, off to her on the way out make use of your copy okay okay any other things from uh, council staff Bill thanks very much we Thank appreciate you. it good luck.